Ruby coffees. A bag full of rubies. But not the kind of rubies that would break your grinder. Hello coffee people, fellow coffee lovers, and people of the internet. My name is Haley. I am your local resident neighborhood local. I'm, I'm your local Q grader here coming at you live from Fellows San Francisco store and playground. Ready to talk to you about a delicious Burundi feature we have this week. We haven't featured a Burundi in some time. I'm super stoked about it. It's a washed Burundi Gaharo from Ruby Coffee Roasters. Before I talk to you about why this coffee is so delicious, let me get into how I'm brewing it. So you saw me swirl at the beginning. I'll talk about that later. Uh, first of all, I'm using 22.5 grams of coffee in, so a little bit more than I normally do, to 350 grams out at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm grinding at a 5 on Ode with Gen 2 and Gen 2 burrs. Um, I would be a 6 on Ode with SSP, about a 4 with Gen 1 Ode. Um, opus setting would be in the description of this video. I am pour, I poured up to I'm gonna go around 45 grams of co or grams of water for your bloom. If you go a little bit over, not a huge deal. After the bloom, you're gonna do something a little bit different. You're gonna swirl about five times, somewhere between five and ten times for a little bit of agitation. Um, and then I'm pouring up to 145 at. 35 seconds, so I'm breaking bloom at 35 seconds and pouring up to 150, then I'm going up to 250 on my second pour, and then finally 350 to finish it off for that four stage pour. I'm not agitating again any other time during the brew. Um, this brew should aim to come out around three to three minutes and 30 seconds. If you go into the four minute territory, that's totally cool, but it's just somewhere hovering around there depending. And of course that's all dependent on environmental features and like your literal atmosphere and how fast, how fast the brew is gonna, uh, brew is gonna happen. Cool, let's get into why this coffee is so cool, right? Uh, it was grown at 1859 to 2086 meters above sea level, so pretty high up there. Uh, it's a washed bourbon uh, from Burundi. And it's really tasting like a lot of tamarind, a lot of honey, uh, really sweet spices underlying. So super interesting uh, spiciness to it, but not, not by any means overpowering at all. Just like I said, uh, nice undertones. They're like supporting actors in the overall movie that is this coffee or play, whatever you prefer. Yeah, and now that I'm on my last pour or I've just finished my last pour, Want to remind you, it's always easy to order from Fellow Drops. All you have to do is text us back the number of bags that you'd like, one, two, five, ten, however many, um, and we will send you that coffee. If you don't want coffee this week, don't text us back and we won't charge you or send you coffee. It's that easy. We'll just text you next Tuesday with our next selection. Um, really would love to hear any comments, questions, or just, you know, you saying hi in the comment section. That's totally cool. We love to see it. Um, and we love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's brew guide video, and I will see you next week for the next brew guide video. Cheers.